What's up, everybody? This is the 271st day making Songbringer. This is uh, actually a year plus into the development of this game. Um, this is a Zelda-like game. You know, it's like Zelda 1, but it's procedurally generated. And today I'm going to be finally drawing a shirt for the player. So this is the, the hero's name is Rock, R-O-Q, Rock Epimetheos. He's uh, from the past, but a much more technologically advanced civilization. Um, you don't know whether he has eyes or not, so that's going to be part of the story. But um, uh, so yeah, I'm finally going to draw a shirt. So this is when you're at the beginning of the game. You um, you actually will start the game with the shirt on. And you lose your shirt for pretty much the whole game. So, yeah, so I need to do a couple animations with him with a shirt on. So I'm going to experiment today. First, I'm going to start off with colors and stuff to see what see what looks right. In fact, I think starting with sort of like a ivory linen color is probably going to be the right, what I'm thinking. I kind of got the Han Solo shirt in mind that Han Solo had during the first uh, Star Wars movies, so... That color, that ivory color. Uh, yeah. Sort of a yellow, yellowish. What's up, Artemis? Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's going great, dude. Super great. How about yourself? How's everything today? I'm drawing a shirt, a shirt for the hero, finally. There, yeah, a tiny bit of saturation. And this is finally reviewing, revealing that the hue needs to be a little more orange tinted. Yeah, that's ivory. I right, sort of, yeah, right about there. Wow, I never knew ivory, ivory was kind of orange. Going well? Cool, man. Nice, so what's your story, man? What kind of, what do you, uh, what do you do? What do you like to do? Brightness 100? Probably not 100. A little bit less than 100. Yeah, here we go. Around, around there. That, I'm thinking, is a nice ivory shirt color. What's up, Salad? Howdy, howdy, howdy. Oh, I'm starting to see this shirt color might actually be a little bit too bright. <laughs> oh, I've never drawn this guy with a shirt on. It's funny. What's up, Brandon Dyer? Oh, cool. Oh, nice. That sounds great. Good for you. Congratulations, man. That's a big thing. Just to be a father. That's great, dude. Okay, so that's a little too bright. And I want... Yeah, one pixel like that. That's nice. <clears throat> and it'll, it'll, of course, need some shading. Oh, you were working on a project, but the artist never did anything? Oh. Oh, man. So you just like learning and stuff right now? Yeah, cool, dude. Yeah, you never know. You never know. It's it's not even just artists, you know. In any any kind of team needs like I don't know what it is, but it's like magic almost. You need like chemistry. I guess it's just chemistry. It's not really magic. And you need the people to all be kind of motivated, right? It's it's difficult to form a team in anything, in any kind of creative endeavor, you know, kind of that's why bands always have so many troubles and stuff. Yeah, totally. Yeah, game dev is a great thing that you can you you can do in your spare time. Like, are you doing any any Ludum Dare jams or anything? The the new Ludum Dare is coming up. Isn't it? Isn't the Ludum, new Ludum Dare right now? When is that? 
Awesome. Right on, man. Yeah, cool. Well, look at um, look at Unreal too. If you're if you're looking at a good C plus plus engine and you want to do three D, check out Unreal. Um, but Coco Studio X, I highly recommend. But you do it is kind of DIY. You know, you got to kind of like really, uh, you know. Yeah. Okay. So Ludum Dare is this weekend. Sweet. Oh man, dude, that's awesome. I love seeing. I love Ludum Dares. They're great. I I've never participated in one, but I love seeing other people do them, you know, I think it's really, really healthy for, um, for people to do that. Cause not only are, not only do you, um, not only do you, do you get to create a game, but you can also meet people through it, you know, that's a little better base color. What's up Lime Studios? How's it going today? Maybe a little, little darker. Yeah, now it's looking dirty almost. That's, yeah, about there. Okay, so now I'll add some shading. Yeah, and you build your portfolio. True. Yeah, that's it. That does say a lot for, for what you're able to do in the game to, in the game scene. If you have a little bit of a portfolio, it's way easier for people to back you. If you're gonna do a Kickstarter or whatever, or any kind of backing, um, and then also it's way easier for people to alpha fund you. It's way easier for you to find a publisher. Um, yeah, so Ludum Dares in general are just a great thing. Awesome, right on. Exams almost over. Oh, cool. Oh, rad. S sweet. There's a Unreal course in C plus plus. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Yeah, I haven't I haven't tried the blueprints yet myself. You finished a game? Brandon, what? That's awesome, dude. What's your game? Yeah, visual programming, right? Is it I that's why I would never use it either. I I don't really I wouldn't It's just I don't know. I'm I'm so used to coding regular style why would I why would I want to switch to a vi visual style it seems slower to me hmm this is already coming together. Oh, and hiring, yeah, of course. Yeah, getting a job too, of course, it's a great thing. What's up, blood? Yeah, totally. Oh, cool, right on. Good job, Brandon. It doesn't matter how small something is, man. You know, it's like, if, if you complete a game, that is noteworthy, that is, that is commendable. You know, that's worth celebrating. So I'm experimenting with a shirt for the player for the very beginning of the game. You actually have a shirt on and then you lose your shirt. Yeah, and it's a notch in your belt, true. Yeah, there's so many benefits to all that. What's up, Boogie? Yo, buddy. And your and totally, the education you get from it. Yes, Brandon, please, post links, always, yeah. It's totally cool to post links. Nice. 2D survival dungeon crawler. Nice. Right on, Artemis. Yeah. I like it. 
<laughs> right? Yeah, no, that definitely happens to me too. Okay, the thing about this shirt is it's still a little bit too bright. Just a tad bit. There. That's better. It looks more like a regular shirt now. Or a linen shirt. It, sure, it needs to be neon green. Silk. <laughs> You know what? I think I can live with this, but I, let me ch let me check this to make sure this is gonna look okay. I'm gonna grab the oldest mock-up image I have. Good attitude, Artemis. You just gotta have a cape. <laughs> Give him a cape and make sure it's neon green. Okay, I'll try that. I'll actually try that. That'd be funny. I don't think I'm actually going to put him, leave him that way, but it would be funny to try it for sure. Uh, where's that mock up image at? I think it's in backgrounds. Oh, yeah, here it is. Cave squared. Okay, here's the original mock up image. I drew this years ago. No, not years. One year ago, about to this day. Closer around there, I drew this. So, anyways, um, let's get uh, let's see how he looks. In this image here, like the one Howl has. Who's Howl? Just paste this guy really quick. Where's he at? Oh, here we go. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh to see him with the shirt on, but it's great. Yeah, that'll work. That's looking good. Cool, dude. Link to your game. Right on, man. Dude, check it out. You got some good reviews already. You got you got an awesome review already. Good job, man. Decades, centuries. All right, see you, Artemis. Oh, Hal from uh, Moving Castle. Castle. What is that? Oh, I've seen that. Yo, right? Yeah, I've seen that movie, The Moving Castle. That was a great movie. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but let's let's try this out. He does look good like that in the in the game, but let's see, let's see what he looks like with a bright green shirt that has a cape, or maybe just a bright green cape. Let's start with the bright green green cape. It's just for fun. Uh, here we go. Super bright, super green, all the way saturated. Maybe not all the way saturated. Just can't do it. But bright. <laughs> I didn't know capes could get this bright. <laughs> God, it's way too bright. Yeah, he's got a drink. Yeah. You're gonna gear that's where you're gonna find the red solo cup. 
Pinky's out. <laughs> He's partying, right? He's got to be partying. Oh my god, this is so fun. With the cape. <laughs> cape of plus two eye searing. Yeah, that's what that was. All right, okay. Um, it's fun to have a cape. Um, maybe this will be an Easter egg, actually. But the, the actual, what he's actually going to look like at the beginning of the game is this. So this is the default character here. Um, I do like this, though. Down the road, I think I'll add this as an Easter egg. So this is really simple because I only got three or six different files to do to be able to get him to walk around with a different look. Cape of plus two pea soup. Yes, an item. All right, okay, we're gonna find the cape item at the very beginning of the game somehow. Or maybe you can, maybe if you find it in one version, one run of the game, you find the cape, then the next run of the game, you can start with the cape or something like that. I think that's a, that'd be a cool item. Or maybe it is some kind of secret on the ship at the very beginning of the game, you get that secret item and you get this cape. But you only have it for like a, a few minutes. I don't know. All right. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm just ready to animate this. A quote, huh? What quote? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Sweet. That's straight from Tim Sweeney. One of my heroes. Cool. Yeah. Game development. The first 90% of a project is a lot easier than the second 90%. That's a really funny quote. And so true. Uh, the Zero, no, I have entirely square boxes. And that's to keep it feeling old school and retro and 8-bit. Um, even though the game is kind of more 16-bit now, I've, I still want to maintain as much 8-bit feeling as I can. So that's why I'm only using squares. But the squares can be um, all sorts of shapes. Like, or I mean, any any size, right? So they, these are the... You now this kind of gives you an example of what the collision boxes look like in this game. The red is, is collision. Must be pixel perfect. I mean, I could do pixel perfect collision. <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I guess I am lazy, right? Maybe I should do pixel perfect, huh? Oh, hey, we got to vote for square collision. Nice. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can slide along all the walls because the there's this, um, it's kind of quasi pathfinding. It keeps you going in a certain direction. So check this out. If, even though I'm, I've got a collision boxes right here, I'm only going to hold the up key, all right, right here. So I'm pressing only up. Actually, I'll start moving to the right, and now I'm going to press only up, and he walks along it, right? So, and now I'm, I'm, if I'm, if I start moving a little bit to the left, and then I press only up, he'll keep moving to the left. So he does slide along things smoothly, and I found that that adding that little feature made square collision boxes pretty acceptable. Oh, Boogie, cool idea. Yeah, 16 bucks the game, 20 bucks if you want the soundtrack. I like that. And, oh, you know what's so great about that idea is um, the Kickstarter backers, I already promised them the soundtrack for 16 bucks, so they'll be getting a deal. So all the Kickstarter backers and everyone that's pre-ordered so far, you get the, the soundtrack for the price uh, for four bucks left, less, basically. Yeah, yeah. The bushes, the same thing. Same concept. Yeah, very good idea. Thank you. Yeah, it is It is a hard thing to price your game, right? See this? I'm only holding the right key, so I'm going to do it again. I'm, first, I move upward a little bit, so he's got the last direction remembered. And I'm going to press only to the right. And 
he just goes up, up, up until he gets stuck and can't go up or to the right anymore. Oh, cool. Okay, so all I gotta do is animate these frames and we'll have the player walking around without, with his shirt, finally. But this is only for a very short period of the game, at the very beginning of the game. There it is, timeline. He's like, no, no, no. I know, yeah. You got good news? Awesome. What's that? Sweet, first one done. Rock, idle, shirt, east, folder. Got to put it in the heroes folder. Keep things organized. Everything should be fine with the settings. All right, next frame. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, figuring out collision is important, right? And it really, okay, so one one lesson I can share with, with doing collision is you can do it in any way. And it's and it all, it's all about the same. It's 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 not all the same difficulty. That's not true. But I would say just choose the method you're gonna use. Um, choose the method you're gonna use first, right? You got a lot of choices. You can do pixel perfect. You can do squares. You can do polygons pretty easily. Polygons are really really easy actually to find. There, you'd be surprised how quickly you can do the math for if a point is inside a polygon or not. And that's a really simple algorithm, actually. Um, so polygons are pretty easy. You could do ellipses, circles. Um, yeah, there's a lot of options you have. So choose, yes, polygons are actually really, really easy. Um, go look at an algorithm for how to, how to determine if a single point is inside a polygon. And there's a really simple algorithm for how to do that. It'll blow your mind. And so, and then just choose choose what method you're going to use first because you don't want to go spend all you know all this time Im implementing one style of collision and then have to go switch it all to a new style, you know. Yeah, high speed collisions are really really tricky because your entity moves so far between a tick that you can get past the point where it's checking. So. You either need to do lots of iterations on your collision, even if, so even, like if you have, if you're going super high speed, you need to do lots and lots of checks on that, that one entity's movement. So, and you can do that conditionally based on how fast the entity's moving, if you like. What's up, J2? Oh, what's the, what's the IIRC algorithm? Yeah, and I've seen, I've seen Handmade Hero, and, uh, yeah, I'm. That's a cool project. Uh huh. Oh yeah, yeah. The sliding effect. I don't know. I'm not sure how to do that with with Pixel Perfect or whatever. You just play around. You can you could probably do it though, dude. I'm, I'm actually I can guarantee that you can do that. It's just a matter of coding it. You know. What Google gave you a seven figure amount to give away. Yeah, you're giving away f devices that people in need. Dude, flood. Oh man, that's oh. Dude, that is so huge. If it, okay, for anybody that's watching this stream right now and you you don't know who Vlad is, Vlad works um Vlad has the technology. He's working with the, you should got you got to tell your story, Vlad. But um basically he's got a he's got a um a technology where people can use their eyes to control a phone and and he's got a video of it and everything and so he just got funded with Google and they're they're uh, they, you know and man that's awesome so it's basically it's going to benefit a lot of people with disabilities anything anybody that can't touch and actually touch a screen you know if, if you only thing you have is your eyesight that's an amazing thing that's an amazing gift for the world dude thank you thank you for doing that 
Hello, Muji. Oh, oh, right, right. If you recall. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, good for you, bud. Yeah. What's up, King Nothing? <laughs> Bless you, that was my, that was my girl. What? Yeah. Okay, we got one shirt done, one shirt animation. Let's get, uh, all I need are these colors, really. That and that. And next animation, oh, wait a minute. I, I animated this whole thing with that, didn't I? Let's export that right. Okay, there. And next, next animation, north. Yeah, cool, that's your video, right? I think I've seen that one before. <laughs> I guess that looks okay. This is easy to change later. It's one simple animation. All right, we got another one done. J2, would there there would be clothes? Yes, there there's clothes. You have clothes for a minute in this game. So the very beginning of the game, you start on your ship. Whoa, cool name. Yeah. You start on your ship and then you you take off on your bike and you go crash your bike and you lose your shirt. I'm not even going to try and pronounce your name. I always mess them up. All right, what's up? Next one. South. <laughs> right, it's what we do. Uh. One, two, three. I'm just checking how many pixels. And then three, two, three pixels there. Yeah, one, two, three.
Yeah. Oh, Jacko Gamer, what's up, man? Yeah, um, no, I don't have a second monitor. I just have my iPad. So I got an iPad connected, and it really helps me to uh, switch context less. So I know I know some people miss the old style where I was I would have my my chat window open on the screen, but um, this is really helping me develop better and stay more focused while I make while I do these streams. Have I ever had someone I'm, that I'm working with that I suddenly lost, lost contact with? Uh, not really. No, I haven't had anyone because I've always been more of a solo guy. I have worked in small teams or or I'll see. Yeah, actually always small teams. So not really. I haven't lost contact yet with anyone. But um, what did I use to contact? Just email. Email and phone. Don't give a shirt. <laughs> Don't give a shirt. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I know. I haven't had a crash on the stream in a while. That's a knock on wood. All right, cool. We got this frame done. Or this uh, animation. And next one is the running. So I'm thinking he's maybe won't even run. Oh, no, I guess, I, yeah, I'll do a running animation first. But I was thinking I might actually do a walking animation for him when he's just got the shirt on. But I don't know. All right, for these run animations, it's going to be a little different how I actually um, draw this because I'm going to draw it straight to these frames. I'm basically going to destructively be doing this art. I'm destroying his skin and adding on a shirt. Give him a cane. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's kind of a cool idea. Hold on. Let's try it. We'll see what it looks like with the cane. Because it's, yeah, that would really go with the, the top hat look. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, that's that's um that's tempting. Really tempting to just make it like that. <laughs> well. All right. Um I'm very tempted. I'm going to think about this. It wouldn't be that hard to add to all these animations. What do you guys think? Now, well, now he needs a feather. <laughs> anyway, and Annie, Annie needs a beard. <laughs> it's got to stop somewhere. Whoops, I messed up. His skin color needs to show through there. <laughs> His beard falls off in the crash.
think I'll make this little portion right here a little brighter. Hmm, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, oh honestly how personality wise how is rock what is his backstory what is he like as a person um okay uh well i don't know if i want to reveal what i have in mind for his race of people just yet but um i do have in mind it, so his the, the race of people that he comes from Everybody wears these kind of eye visor things, and um, I will I will be indulging more on that. And I'm not exactly sure what his personality his personality. Okay, I do know this: his personality is one that he rushes in before checking anything. You know, he's a this is why he has the last name Epimetheos, the god of afterthought. So he's the kind of person that that takes action before thinking too much and that gets him in trouble and a lot of a lot of times like when he picks up the sword <laughs> i don't always crash a spaceship but when i do i lose a t-shirt introvert or extrovert i'm thinking more on the extrovert side he's more of like a partier you know Oh, sarcastic or friendly? Probably more on the friendly side, the more like a friendly dog character. Game dev memes. <laughs> You're welcome. Here's an invoice. Uh, uh, <laughs> exposure one. <laughs> totally. Oh my god. How many times have I fallen into that trap? Uh. <laughs> the save icon <laughs> fur coat it's a snuggy coat All right, I think that'll that's gonna do it for for this the shirt from the side. Let's get both these colors again. Start on this next frame. <laughs> Feature. A Jon Snow style fur coat. Those are big. They're like unnecessarily furry. You gotta go to the, you gotta check in with the, the, the fashion police first. What 
happened with this one? Why is this one weird? That's a little better. And then that too. Nope, not that. That, yeah. I'm thinking this color actually needs a little. A bit less. <laughs> yeah. It looks just like the the uh the Michelin man. The Mad Damon. Bapu. What do you think, Bapu? What do you, what's what do you think? What are you thinking today? Bapu. How you been, Bafu? Okay, in all simplicity, that's really all that's needed for that. Let's go next frame. Oh, by the way, is my mouse cursor still um is still doing that thing where it's less, it's lower than the uh than where I'm drawing? Bapu tells a joke. Yes. Oh, that would be great. Or a fortune, dude. If you could do fortunes, that would be awesome. Bapu, give me a fortune. Like old school Linux login style fortune. All right, that's um. No, 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 no. <laughs> Who's Cortana again? Pseudo joke. <laughs> like that. Pseudo joke and fortune. Oh, that's the Windows Foreign Siri. Oh, that's Cortana. <laughs> oh, she's from Halo? Really? That's kind of cool. Mm, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. What's up with what's up with Google? Why can't they tell us jokes or give us fortunes? Seriously, all they're good for is searching the internet. What what good is that? Whoops. Cut off his hands.
There we go. One more animation. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Does that work? The two states of every programmer. I'm God. I have no idea what I'm doing. I like the dog. <laughs> it's gotta be 42. Does it work? <laughs> you look back here, dude. Oh, Lime Studio has a good point. Rocket Bunny. What's up, Rocket Bunny? Right, next frame. Man, it really helps in animations to use only like two or three colors. It makes going makes animating way quicker. Wait a minute. How many? Oh, I think I did this one wrong. How many pixels is the the gap? One, two. Oh, it's only two pixels. Oh, it's those three total. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two. Is that? Nah, I think it's too many here. Yeah. There we go. What's a Hewlett Packard? Yeah, HP. Yeah. So I'm drawing a shirt for the character here, the main hero. He starts with a shirt, then he loses his shirt right away. You play the whole game without a shirt. But it's going to be fun to have a shirt for a minute. It's National Computer Science Week? Whoa. That one's good. Duh, what? Someone started screaming in the back of your class? Was it a really hard question? Did it involve horror concepts? Well, oh, yeah, that sucks, man. Yeah. What's up, Marza? Is it time for the prom? Yes. <laughs> How you doing, Marza?
Is it just me or is this arm a little bit too long right here? It's a little bit too long for sure. That's better. All right. Yeah, all right, that'd be cool, J2. Always working, coding, and baking. Nice, man. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> In 2019, the streak is already done. Yeah, wow, dude. Well, I'm glad it wasn't anything worse than, I mean, it could, it could have been worse, that's for sure. Yay, this one's done. Yay. Right, yeah, sometimes you just gotta scream. Oh, so it was an easy test? I guess he just had to scream then. Rocket Bunny, cool, man. Why do you feel like a legit programmer today? Pajamas? All right, one down, two more to go. You don't know? All right. Make him trip and fall. Uh, cool idea. What could he trip and fall on? I mean, there's certain stuff on the ship he could trip and fall on. Oh, I got a, I got an idea for something that's gonna really help. What's the command in Photoshop to switch your active color? Maybe it's on the tools command or something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up a shortcut for that because I always do that. Keyboards and shortcuts menu. I think it's gonna be under t application, not yeah, tools, and then. It's not next brush, it's oh. you know, we can trip on the solo cup. Programs do homework for you, yes. Ah. Yeah, to switch between primary and secondary, it's just X, the, the letter X. But I mean, I've already got my X remapped with something else. So what what's the default for? I want to just change. I want to set up my own command for that. Yo, what's up, clock? Yeah, X. Well, what's Y? I've got yeah Z and X set for my my pr my brush sizes. Oh, here it is. Switch brush. Switch foreground. There we go. 
V, I want that to be V. All right, cool. So now I can just go V and switch the colors. Yay, that's cool. Awesome. Yeah, I know, I know, I changed everything. I got all my, um, yeah, thanks, Vlad. Thanks, Vlad. I got all my keys, all my all my shortcuts for, for, um, for Photoshop are within reach of my left hand if I'm on the left side of the keyboard. So it's like Q, W, E, A, S, D, Z, X, C, and V are most of my commands. So it, it really helps to just keep it all there and I don't have to move my hand and I can I can use my right hand for um, for drawing and then my left hand for selecting tools and stuff. This makes it fast. Is it bright enough in here? It's dark, it's winter. Winter's coming. Okay, uh, this one's done. And now I need to do, did I get both these colors? Yeah. Uh, this one, north. <laughs> Two hands, such a great invention. <laughs> yeah, I agree. This feels too light, these colors. Turn off all this propagate frame one madness. You saw Nico? Because it was too dark. What are the most important options to us to have in a game? Start and exit. <laughs> Right, settings. I don't know. Music. Um, I think input is probably one of the biggest ones. You know, you got to be able to customize your input, what your device you're using. Um, music volume, sound volume, especially in your game, you got to have good sound controls. That's it. That's, I don't know. That's, that was... Yeah, J2. Did you see that? Saw that image, right? Hmm, wow, north is really easy. Yeah, rebinding. Um, I know Axiom Verge did that pretty well. I think wait, I don't know. I don't I never rebound my keys. But they did have their they did have all their own wait, no, Axiom Verge, sorry, I didn't even use Unity. Never mind. They used uh mono game, I think. What games have I made other than Songbringer? The latest one I made is called Hero Bash. It's a MOBA for iOS. I made it with my buddy. We spent two years on it, and um, it was a financial failure. But an incredible, important learning lesson in life. So I would never take it back for anything. I'm really glad I learned that. In fact, if I hadn't have financially failed with with uh, Hero Bash, I probably wouldn't be making this game right now. So Songbringer has 
has that failure to thank. Yep, totally. Yeah, no, don't be sorry, man. Don't be sorry at all. And like I said, I am incredibly thankful for that lesson in life. And I will I will try and attempt to teach that lesson all the days that I do live streaming. How, however I share my development and stuff with other people, I will always try and share that lesson. Nice, Hero Bash. Cool. We got a command. And if anybody is, is interested in that, you guys all know. You guys know the Gama Sutra article. I put I have a article on Gama Sutra all about that. I'm all about Hero Bash and how you don't how you do how you can ensure that your game has a chance of succeeding before you go and spend the years to make it. That's the the concept to that Gama Sutra article. That's why you do Android. Oh, it's crowdfunding. Oh, sorry, I tried to do I tried to do that command a while ago. Crowdfunding, gotta remember that, yeah. So wait, you, that's why you do Android? What do you mean? Oh wait, sorry. Oh, you you said right there. What ki what kills you makes your parents stronger? Google Play, twenty five Apple App Store, ninety nine bucks a year. Yeah. Thanks, Lime. Oh wow, this is so easy. The north animation is like really straightforward. Thanks. Such a good particle. You guys know about the Higgs boson, right? What else? What have? What have? What else have we discovered with the the Large Hadron Collider, since um, since the Higgs boson? Have we? Have they figured out stuff about the Higgs boson and moved on to looking for the next particle, or what's up with that? Friday Night Gaming. How much is Photoshop? It's like fifty bucks a month or something. Like thirty bucks a month to to fifty or seventy, depending on what you, you know for small teams or whatever. Check it out. Just go to go look for Adobe Creative Cloud. You get you can get one app in the in the Creative Cloud for a certain amount per month. Buggy paper for sure. Where is it? Where is the buggy paper? Why are we talking about a large hadron collider? Because of the because he said such a good particle. <laughs> Mars already knows time travel though. <laughs> oh nice blood, that's funny. With the very long colon. <laughs> I've never thought of it this way, but now that you mention it.
Wow, Flux is already going. Ah, that's better. <laughs> Did you discover time travel yet? Did I have to do chores? Yes, I did have to do chores growing up. Not, I didn't, I didn't grow up on a farm or anything, but yeah, I did. We did chores at our place. You always forget to set your memories back in 2015. Oh, that that shot of the actual that part of the collider. Yeah. Now that you mention it, very anus like. What? Kicked off a five-year project to create a particle accelerator that's the size of a shoebox. What? Whoa. Whoa, dude. Oh my god, this is this is totally revolutionary. Molecular movies, which capture physical or biological actions that occur in a femtosecond. That's amazing, dude. The technology we have is getting is it's getting crazy, dude. We are, we are truly living in a sci-fi world. One of my friends put it really amazingly. He said, we live in an 80s sci-fi world. I was like, yes, we do. This is back to the future right now. Right, one animation down. Yeah. This one maybe you could use a little, huh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try something. I know. <laughs> You're moving to the moon if we get flying cars? Wait, how'd that look? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I guess that works. It's good enough. The last one. South. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Why does he have a sword here? Thought I opened up the idle one. Sprites, common. Whoops, no, sprites. Heroes. No. <laughs> sprites. Rock, you even in the heroes folder. Idle. South. Oh, no, that's running. Running south. Damn it. Running. South. 
Oh my god, he does have a, the sword there. He's not supposed to have the sword on his back here. Right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Marza. All right, I gotta check this uh, these animations. I might have messed up on one, one export here for. Um, running south. Oh no, I guess it's okay. Oh, yeah, that's okay. I guess I just messed up when I saved that file. Okay, it's all good. So I'll go and resave this file. Right? This is running south. Yeah, this should not have the sword. <laughs> plans for the beta yeah um i'm gonna do an updated alpha release this month or maybe towards the, towards the end of this month i'm thinking um so you will be able to play your newer version um but as far as the beta goes i i want to be i want it to be complete as far as dungeons and bosses go so I want people, when they play the beta, I want them to actually have all of the game available to them and for the game to be a complete thing. So you can play all the way through the game. It kind of has a simple ending. It's not going to have all the story or whatever. The story is going to come last after the beta. I'm going to do the story and all that. But I want the beta to be kind of a complete game. So yeah, yeah. So you guys are going to be able to play this, this newer stuff um, later this month. You'll test it in Japan. Why in Japan? Are you going to Japan? I think you told me about this one time. I think, yeah, I think you told me about it when we were together in San Francisco last week. Or last week. Last year. No, this year. Earlier this year. I already think it's 2016. I guess I'm time traveling. Maybe you're just rubbing the time travel off, off on me. Does Linux work yet? No, it does not, but I will definitely have it before the beta. Um, and I might be able to swing getting the time to do it for this alpha release. Wow, cruel dude. Christmas and New Year's in Tokyo. Sweet. Okay, there we go. Now, back to this animation with the running south. This also... Oh, hell. Close it. Wait, no. Actually, let's keep this open. We will meet last June. <laughs> also, get Windows. I got Windows. You mean Windows 10? What are you talking about? Yeah, the game already runs on Windows. Oh, one more. <laughs> oh, all about Linux. Oh, oh. Cool. 
cool. Oh, dude, nice emoticon. Yeah, dude, that's my favorite emoticon ever. Yes. Unix greater than Windows, for sure. I agree, I agree, but I don't want to start a holy war. <laughs> I'm not with you as much? What do you mean? I'm trying to be. But it does help me to develop over here without having to constantly switch apps and stuff. What's up, Xbox Taco? <laughs> what happens if you bit shift Unix Windows times to the right? Let's try it. Who, who can try this right now? <laughs> no way no that can't work can it unix shifted down windows can't equal unix shifted down windows oh wait 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 you just capitalize unix oh but that's not the point of the stream we're here to hang out it's true i hope i'm hanging out enough but i do try and get stuff done during the hangout is that wrong? Am I valid doing this this way? Oh, that's it. It equals Lindos. <laughs> What's Unix? Good joke, man. Good joke. Oops. Uh, one, two, three there. Whoops. Nice, cool. Yeah, do that research. A thing that makes you look like a smarter programmer, but in real life you can't debug and have to compile. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of a, that's actually kind of an accurate description. Right? <laughs> you can grab, you can said. Grep and said and all that.
right? Yep, you gotta basically learn to dot slash configure, make and make, install, All right, ripping through this animation. Next frame. <laughs> right. Oh, you Xbox Saga, you should definitely check it out. If you're if you're into development, you should definitely at least check out it in Linux. How does he lose his shirt? He crashes his bike and he loses his shirt in the process. Or I'm thinking maybe the shirt flies off when you're on the bike and you're speeding down to the planet. Something like that. Where it catches fire? Oh, catching fire. How do you get Linux? Yeah, dude, it's so easy. Yeah, it's just a download, man. He just takes it off? That's a good one. Will it delete? You gotta basically, you gotta have your own partition for it. So you need to have a, you need to either have a, a partition or you can actually get Linux running on a CD or not, whatever, but. Raspian, huh? The most recent one I tried was uh, Elementary. That was kind of cool, but it was—it's really Mac OS. It's the whole point is for it to look like a Mac or feel like a Mac or something. So if you're into Macs, Elementary OS is not the OS for you. <laughs> Sexy tentacle monsters. Yeah, Dave will have some off moment. Oh, right, you gotta run it from USB. There you go. Oh, it's Debian for Raspberry Pi. Pi, sorry. Pi? Is it Pi or P? You know how bad I am with pronouncing stuff. Ludum Dare Gradient. I'm pretty sure I pronounced those ones right. It's Pi, 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 Raspberry Pi. Is what ways is it better than Windows? You kind of have a more. I mean, it's not. Yeah. Oh, wow. Maybe I'm not the best one to answer this one. Yeah, I like pootie pie, right? Who doesn't like pie? <laughs> yes, everything I would say now is a lie. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, one last frame. <laughs> Don't worry about him. He's just joshing you. Almost done. What? Cedric, what's up, man? How'd I learn pixel art? I have a tutorial on it, man. But there, I, I would, would I, if I were you, I'll just give you the basics of the tutorial because I don't really have the link or whatever right now. But um, basically what I did to learn to make pixel art is I went and I bought a graphics tablet. These are like 70 bucks, 80 bucks, something like that. You gotta have a, you have a little stylus, you have this. And then what I did is I let, I let it sit on my desk for a year. It collected dust. I ignored it for a long, long time. And then finally I picked it up. But for that whole year, while I was not even drawing or anything, I was watching tons of speed pixel art. So I was watching it online. I would be like, all right, I go on YouTube and watch people do pixel art really fast you know they they speed it up after they've created it they just you know do a time-lapse video or whatever and that I will tell you is one of the most valuable things you can do to become an artist because you get to you get to kind of pick up the general process of how to make art before you ever try and make it yourself one last frame Nice, you already have one? Cool. What can't you do in Unix? Thanks, Rocket Bunny. Yeah, I think Cedric, uh, Rocket Bunny's trying to post the link to that. Uh, or, oh, wait, did you both you guys see it? Is this, can this open videos? Uh oh. Yeah, I think Cedric of Rocket Bunny, I think, was posting a link to the to the series. Yeah, sorry, I created that video series right there from programmer to artist, whatever. Nice, dude. Cool, you're making a game? Good for you, man. Cool. I like it. I like your style. Oh, this is actually trying to play it. It is playing it. Dude, it's playing it right now on the Twitch app on my iPad. That's pretty awesome, dude, that you, you've made a game that can play on my iPad in the Twitch window. That's cool. I like your animation style. I love your art, dude. It's cool. You got a good start. It's a great start, dude. You should be proud of that. Okay, this is it. Last thing. I'm not sure I like how it flips this the middle. Two. Yeah, that's okay. And then here. Oh, this frame here needs one pixel there. This frame needs that. This frame needs that. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. I kind of got that feeling too. I was like, hey, where's the jump? But I know you're just starting, right? Or maybe you don't even want to put jumps in that game. Who knows? I would challenge you. Heck, I would challenge you to do something as different as you possibly can. Because it's really difficult to find 
an audience unless you have some hooks, some things that are different about your game or just awesome about your game or something. You know, hooks like music hooks, same kind of thing. I don't know, I'm kind of getting a weird feeling from this animation. There's some there's a couple things wrong with it. Maybe maybe it needs this here. Oh yeah, that kind of worked. Oh yeah. That does help there. Nice, right on. This frame. Plan to make an endless runner in the form of my life, like they would eventually be played through my life. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, cool. What's that, dude? Nice, J two. It's like a. <laughs> He's like an evil skeleton with a top hat. Nice, J two. Yeah, he looks like a robot to me too. He looks like a skeleton robot. I got that same feeling. So right, it's not hard to make art. Art's pretty easy. It's a fur coat. This is this animation seems really messed up to me. What? I, th I think I might have ruined it here a second ago. No. Yeah, this one is messed up, but I'm going to first put this all in the game. Let's see what this looks like. Sure, it's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoop, oh, sorry. Sorry, export. Right, the fourth frame looks like it needs to learn, lean to the right. Let's see that. Wait. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's see what that looks like. I know that kind of looked weird, but let's see if that helped the animation. Yeah, that did not help. Huh. Well, okay, I'll take a look at it a little bit later. I want to see what this looks like in the game first. Get to the code part. Go in. Ah. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, did it get shifted? I might have shifted it on accident. Yeah. Let's delete the whole game. <laughs> right, let me see what the old animation looked like first. Running. Running south. There it is. Ah, uh, see, that's more natural. Yeah, something something got shifted for sure. So it's straight on. Centered, centered, centered. One to the left on the fourth frame. Centered. One to the right on the last frame. Interesting. Oh, see, oh yeah, that one's right, okay. Oh, this is one's wrong. That one's wrong. That one's wrong. That one's r wrong. Yeah, the whole thing got shifted to the right, every single frame. But that can't, oh, that's, that seems wrong. Oh no, here's the problem. I switched zero and one. Oh. There we go. Better. Awesome. Yes, yes, Marza. No, he's going to, I'm pretty sure he's going to start the whole game. Uh, well, he's, he's in a small band. He's not like a rock star or anything, but he's, he's actually plays music on Songbringer. And so I think the very beginning of the game, you actually will start playing music you, and you end your song and then you go and find a party cup and you get, hop on your bike and go explore the planet. So that's kind of the start of the game. But yeah, I've always had, yes, really, I've always had plans to, for um, him to be a musician. And uh, the tip jar is the red solo cup. Yeah, and also you're going to have the guitar item. So at some point in the game, you'll actually find a guitar and Jib turns into a speaker. So Jib can actually, you get an item where Jib can turn into a speaker. And so that way you can have play amplified guitar music. And also somebody suggested uh, Memory Stick OS, this guy that's watching the the YouTube videos, he suggested that um, you should be able to find individual notes in the world. So throughout the game, you can find notes and then, and then you actually have to find like six notes or whatever to be able to play a song. It's kind of an interesting idea. I'm not sure if it, if it what, what you guys think of that, but I'd love to get some thoughts. Dude. Blood, that's pretty cool. Yeah, man. What kind of game was that? <laughs> this is how time travel works. He's proved it. Okay, this animation is now fixed, and I can export this with a better conscience. All right, let's put these animations in. He's got idle, 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 idle with the shirt. So I'm adding, this is this is how this game works with um, skins. All I need to do is add an, a little extension to the name of the animation like that. And then I can set the skin to be shirt. Whoops, not short. Here we go. Reminds you of Oot? What's Oot? Oh, cool. Cool, bud.
Yeah, right? This is a running turn. All right, I gotta organize some of these. It's got all disorganized when I switched over to the new system, so I gotta fix some of this up. Oh, Ocarina of Time. Oh, yeah. Good association there. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably where that's coming from, huh? I think it's impossible to create entirely unique creations, you know? Part of your creation is kind of going to be based on stuff, stuff in our culture. Our, it's, it's kind of like we're getting a global culture, huh? I mean, not that all of our cultures are totally running together yet, but we kind of we kind of have a shared culture now. We have our own cultures as individual countries, and then we have, or not just countries or regions or whatever, but then we also have this global culture. It's kind of cool because we can all relate, but I just hope we don't lose it. I hope we don't lose our individual cultures as well. It's important. Yeah. Run. Is that it? Is that all the run animations? There's one more. Yeah, everything you read is a remix. Yeah. That's that's definitely what I, yeah. Such an amazing little video series. All right, man. Marza, thanks for dropping by. Say hi to the future for us. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Oh, what happened to run north sheath? There it is. <laughs> you love us individually, but hate us as a chat. <laughs> Live long in prostate. Live video's already standing, dude, for you. So many animations. There. All right. Okay, now we're adding the ones for shirt. Sheath shirt. Go no! Shirt, short, either one. All right. 
Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take away the player's sword and put the player back on the ship and stuff. And when the player is on the ship, they'll have this this animation. So this is there's a function which sets the uh, player's skin. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, see you yesterday, man. Who wears short shorts? <laughs> Who doesn't wear short shorts? Okay, so if the player does not have the top hat, or yeah, if the player doesn't have the sword and they're on, if world get pause, <laughs> yeah. Is there a way to unset his skin? Yeah, right here. Short short line. So for if he's on the ship, ship Z, then we just do shirt. So this will put his his uh his skin to be shirt but only if he does not have the sword and if he's on the ship, which is the beginning of the game. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Oh no, you've had to go live normal hours. Blood, that's so not like you, dude. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so this is I'm gonna run this and he's not gonna have the sword and he's not gonna be have his shirt on or whatever because he's gonna be in this world here. But if I go and drop the teleport cube. Wait, what? Oh. Let's equip the teleport cube, use it. What time I'm streaming? Probably only like another half an hour or hour. I stream for about two hours a day. Alright, so he should have... This is weird because he should have his um his shirt on right here. Oh, probably because he didn't set the skin. What if I quit and run again? <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay, let's just put the player on this on the ship. Oh, thanks, Cedric, man. <laughs> oh, wait, that's the wrong room, too. It's not negative 10, it's negative 50, I think, is the ship. Let's keep guessing until we get it right. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. He's got a shirt. He's got a shirt. Oh, man. It's funny. It's, I don't know why it's funny to me that he has a shirt on. But it's cool. Alright. That was cool. I'm so glad to have done this. Um, So the next thing on the list. Yeah, it's cool, right? <laughs> yeah, 50% of going totally. I call it the divide and conquer strategy, but really it's just guessing. That's all it is. All right, so the this the layout of the ship is there's going to be paths going to the left and the right in this area, and there's going to be a hangar, there's going to be an observatory, and there's going to be a stage, and there's going to be of course this area up here where you got the the droid smith. So yeah, the next things I'll be doing is be hacking on this. <laughs> on the front cover of GQ. How did I make the sounds? I make my sounds with... I take sounds from free sound usually. And then, um, and then I'll edit them. But I think what you're talking about the sounds I actually made and generated. And I generate a lot of my sounds with uh, Ableton Live. I'll actually go and generate sounds with... Um, there's a plug-in I've... I've 
I have called um, Massive, and I make a lot of the the really um, electronic sounds from from that. So Massive and Ableton, but I also use Befixer, BFXR for a lot of the little simple eight bit sounds. This is a great little tool. You should check it out. There's Befixer. It's cross platform, and they also have a web version. And it's super great for making sounds. All right, dude, that's awesome. How long have I been streaming here? Hour 53, so this is it, huh? This is about it, guys, for the stream. At least, uh, wow, I got something totally accomplished today. So, yeah, I guess I'm just going to recap, and that's going to be it for the stream. Oh, yeah. You have Ableton Live 9? Nice. Cool. Dude, that's great. Is it the live light version? Oh, yeah, light. Yeah. I have Ableton 8. I purchased the... I spent like $500 buying that app. And it sucks that now, now I have to pay to upgrade it. But oh well. Sorry, I'm complaining. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do next tonight is to make it so... There's a pathway going off here to the left. And that will that will point to... That will go to the either the observatory or the hangar. I know I did just say half an hour two minutes ago because I hadn't even looked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then there'll be a path going this way to the right that goes to probably the, well, once again, either the hangar or the observatory. Not sure. And then the, there's a path to the south that goes to the stage. I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's it. I'm going to start. So basically my goal is to get this finished before Indie Cup this Thursday. I want to have a small little intro that you can play. So you'll you'll start on the ship here. You'll find the red cup here as well. You pick up the red cup and then you go to the hangar and once you get to the hangar you it's it might just fade out and you you wake up and you crash your bike or whatever. But yeah. Thanks, Cedric. Appreciate it, man. Uh so that's it for today's stream. And yeah, anybody that's just joined the stream, I stream daily, just about, like I stream at least five days a week, always about this time. So you can always catch me about now. The best way to follow is to follow, actually click the follow link or whatever on Twitch because then you get notifications on when I go live. Because I go live at random times, so, or random, and I'm never exactly exact. So yeah, thanks you guys. Cheers and have a great day.